Welcome to Average Gear Review, where the best gear is the gear you have on. And what is up, guys? Your Average Gear Reviewer here, back again with another quick little unboxing for you. In this video, I've got something really cool in from Amazon that I want to show you guys. And I realized looking at all my EDC videos, I just have to be scrolling through Amazon looking at some stuff. And I realized looking at all my EDC videos that I, I really had not covered this in any of my videos, but it is an essential part of what I think should be um, maybe not in your on-body EDC kit, but something that you should definitely have in like a secondary bag or something like that. So, um, yeah, without further ado, uh, let's get into this. As always, guys, welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first video, thanks so much for stopping by to watch one of my little videos. I appreciate it so much. If you're a returning viewer, so great to see you again. I hope everybody's doing well. Without further ado, now for real, let's get over to the bench and check out what's in this package. Okay, and we're over here on the desktop, and gosh, I need a little bit more room. This package is so big, but it, what's in here is really not that big. Um, we've got our Armager 2 unboxing buddy here, and uh, yeah, let's, let's see what we've got in the box. Yes, we've got some mechanics gloves. Yeah, so uh, looking through all my EDCs, all my videos, I realized that I had never talked about gloves at all. Like, never had even mentioned gloves, I don't think. Go back through them and look and see, guys, and let me know if uh, I, maybe I'm wrong on that one. But um, I, I don't think that I have. But uh, yeah, so I realized I hadn't covered gloves, and um, I do have a pair of gloves that I wear a lot of times, and that I carry in my EDC kit. But, um, you know, mechanics are sort of the standard. And when I saw that they had these on Amazon for, it's like right at 20 bucks, I think, with tax and everything. It was $19 and, what was it, 40, $19 and 45 cents, something like that. I'll post a link in the description down there if you guys want to pick a pair of these up. But, uh, yeah, it was a great deal they've got going on on these. And, uh, yeah, they were even offering uh, where I am. Same day delivery on now, you know, that's gonna that'll depend on where you're at as far as that goes. Okay, so we got one more thing here that we gotta we've got zip strips we have to deal with. Ooh. Man, that is a tough tough zip strip there there we go Ooh, they didn't want these escaping they definitely didn't want these getting away so i got a size a size large and usually when i get gloves i like to get a size smaller than what it recommends um i like to well, those might be a little bit too small, though. I don't know. I have to let them wear in. But uh, I like to get them a little small so that they so that they will stretch out. And uh, I just found that uh, you get them wet, stretch them out really good, and uh, it just seems like it gives you a little bit more, a little bit more dexterity than you get with the larger gloves. You just lose a little bit with the, the folding up and stuff on you. So, yeah, I like these. They just, they've got the uh, the new buck sort of um, leather palms to them, and then the backs are a uh, nylon, really breathable sort of material. Got some uh, rubberized, and then, of course, a Velcro clasp around on the back side here. They feel nice. And like I said, I did get these a size down from what uh, e what even it recommended that I should get. And that's just the way that I buy my gloves. I like to have something that's just a little more dexterous. Um, and like I said, over time, these will stretch and they will wear in. Um, I promise you from experience of having gloves and 
getting them wet and working in them and using them. Um, if you buy them a little bit small, they will sort of break into the size that you need. And, and you'll find that you do have a little more dexterity with them. And um, ways that that can be important. And, of course, uh, let me show you here, of course, this is uh, unloaded, of course, you know, for YouTube purposes. But uh, with this, it does give you room to get inside the trigger guard there. And also I can manipulate my buttons here, manipulate the safety. I'm sure I could load it if I need to. It gives you a lot more dexterity. Um, and these gloves are great for that. You know, these are sort of like the, the uh, OG, I think, operator gloves. You know, that uh, guys used to wear back in the day. Uh, you know, I know now combat bits, I know for sure, using like the Kevlar knuckle plated ones. Um, just for something for an EDC kit. I didn't want anything like that. I just wanted something to protect my hands. And that's something that um, I haven't addressed in any of my videos and, and really haven't talked about. But it is something that is important, um, you know, especially in any type of emergency situation. You're going to want to have some kind of gloves, some kind of protection on your hands because, uh, you know, if there's any kind of debris, broken glass, anything like that, uh, you get it cut up really easily, really quickly. And you just don't realize how fast the environment will tear your skin up. But uh, some gloves like this could be a lifesaver, um, you know, could allow you to do some things you wouldn't normally be able to do. <laughs> I'll tell you one of the best features about these gloves that I'm finding so far, and I've had to use them three times, is... The, uh, they are touchscreen capable, so I've been able to uh, come up here and press my phone and be able to stop it recording because my ring light's gone out three times. So, uh, you know, what are you going to do? So, yeah, guys, didn't want to make a super long video or anything. Um, just a really quick unboxing for you, but I did want to let you know about the uh, great deal that I did find on these mechanic gloves. Uh, you know, um, over there at Amazon.com. And if you want to pick a pair up right now, like I said, they do have, uh, they're less than $20. So uh, $19.45, I think, without tax. Um, I like the way that they feel. And uh, I had another pair of gloves I was going to show you guys. I used to wear, and I do still wear these sometimes. I usually keep them in my EDC pack. Um which I might get into in one of these videos. Would you guys be interested in an EDC pack? Just curious. Comment down below and let me know if you'd be curious to see uh, what sort of uh, like an EDC pack setup I use. Um, yeah, leave me a comment down there. Also, if you like the video, leave us leave a like down below. Um, that lets YouTube know that you like the video. It lets us know that it's a good video. Um, it lets YouTube know that uh, it can promote that video to other viewers and it does help grow the channel. So if you want to be a part of helping grow the channel please like it share it with your friends um all my videos are free for creative comments uh, comments sorry so uh, they're free to use if you want to use clips or anything out of them uh they're absolutely free so um also subscribe if you're not subscribed what are you waiting on brother get subscribed so that you can stay up to date on the latest videos that we're doing so you can stay up to date on the latest and greatest in EDC gear and the best deals that I can find for you out there. huh? So make sure that you're subscribed. Make sure you get your notifications turned on. But yeah, but yeah I did just want to sort of compare and contrast these two um, for you really quick. Uh, you know, these have a, a totally different material on the inside. These have a much more breathable material, uh, which seems like it might wick sweat away a little more. These have more of like almost feels like a neoprene material there. And um, it seems like the buckskin on these, on the uh, mechanics, may be a little thicker. So these have a little bit thinner palm, but these are very subtle too. Um, they're very dexterous. So I like that about them. And I wish I knew what kind they were. They're like, uh, I wish I could remember. If I can find it, I'll put it, um, I'll put it somewhere in the description down below for them. Um, I don't like that these have the, uh, when they Velcro on the back of the wrist, I'm not a big fan of that. Um, I do like how the mechanics wear Velcro on the inside of the wrist. That's much more out of the way and it's much less likely to get snagged on stuff. Uh, just seems like when it's back here, it's more likely to get snagged and pulled open and, and your gloves are always coming loose on you and stuff, which can kind of be, you know, annoying.
uh, yeah, I haven't had a pair of mechanics wear uh, mechanics gloves on in uh, years now. So um, these feel really nice. But yeah, um, hit that link, that Amazon link down below if you want to pick a pair up for yourself. Like I said, they're they're uh, running right about twenty dollars right now. I don't know how long that sale is supposed to last. I can't, you know, I can't guarantee anything as far as that goes. But um, you know. Hey, thanks for watching the video, guys. I really appreciate it. Thanks for hanging out with me a little bit here. Guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me here in the old Bears Den Studios. Hope you've all enjoyed the video. Um, again, leave a like down below if you like the video. It's really that simple. Anyway, guys, like I always say, always be caring. And remember, the best gear is the gear you have on you. Average Gear Reviewer. Average I'm Gear Review. But the best gear is the gear you have on.